Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, April the 9th. It's the second week of Easter and week one in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 116 and Exodus 17, verse 1 to 16. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Today listen to the voice of your God. Harden not your hearts as in the desert. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, even though they had seen all of my works. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. Hallelujah. Psalm 116. Hallelujah. I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. Because you have inclined your ear to me. I will call upon you as long as I live. The sorrows of death encircled me, and the pains of hell grabbed me. I found trouble and sorrow, and then I called upon your name. O oh God, I implore you, save my life. You are gracious and righteous, and you are merciful. You preserve the innocent. I was brought low, and you helped me. My soul can return to peace, for you have dealt bountifully with me. For you have delivered my soul from death, and my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before you in the land of the living. I believed, even when I said I was greatly afflicted. And in my haste I said, all the children of the earth are liars. What shall I give you for all your blessings to me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon your name, my God. And I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of all your people. Precious in your sight is the death of your saints. Truly I am your servant and the child of your handmaid, and you have set me free from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon your name. I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of all your people. In the courts of your house, in your midst, O Jerusalem, I praise you, my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. Hallelujah. A reading from Exodus 17, beginning at verse 1. From the wilderness of sin, the whole congregation of the Israelites journeyed by stages as the Most High commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. And the people quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses said to them, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you rest and test the Most High? But the people thirsted there for water, and the people complained against Moses and said, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Most High, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Most High said to Moses, Go on ahead of the people and take some of the elders of Israel with you. And take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile and go. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock, and water will come out of it, so that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. He called the place Massa and Meribah, 
because the Israelites quarreled and tested the Most High, saying, Is the Most High among us or not? And then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some men for us and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. And so Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek, while Moses and Aaron and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. And whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the sun set, and Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the sword. Then the Most High said to Moses, Write this as a reminder in a book and recite it in the bare hearing of Joshua. I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar, and he called it, The Most High is my banner. He said, A hand upon the banner of the Most High. The Most High will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most High God, you bless us with your cup of salvation. You preserve the simple, and you set us free from the bondage of sin. Guide us in your ways. Keep our feet on your paths. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.